first things first, we're gonna open the box. Maybe if we can get it open, not sure because it's very difficult. everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a very exciting cover reveal and unboxing for a book called Paper Doll Lena by Robin Lucas. So I was sent this big ass box full of goodies. It's like a self-care package which I am very excited about so I thought I would open it up on film for you guys and tell you a little bit about this book because I personally think it sounds really great. So without further ado, let us get started. First things first, we're gonna open the box. Maybe if we can get it open. Not sure because it's very difficult. See it's hard too because I have fake nails on. They're press on nails and um, they keep popping off because they're from wish.com so they're a little bit cheap. Here we go. We're gonna open the box. Comes with a letter that just flew away. So it comes with a letter from the author that basically just explains what is in the box as well as explaining that this book is very close to them as they are a survivor of intimate partner violence which is a major theme in this book. It says that my hope is Paper Doll Lena will be both a window for entertainment but also a mirror in which readers can identify certain behaviors within their own relationships and either address them or seek help. The author Robin Lucas is donating one dollar for every post about this book to an organization called freeform.org which is an organization that incorporates financial education as well as empowerment to people who are affected by intimate partner violence. So I think that it's a great message. I think it's really cool that she's going to be donating money to this organization. So. But without further ado, let us get into this box because I'm very excited to see one item in particular. It's chock full of some self-care goodies. So let's check it out and see what's in here. First thing I'm going to show you guys is the cover just because, you know, that's what this whole thing is about. The cover reveal for this book and I'll let you guys know a little bit more about it because like I said, I think it sounds really great. Drum roll please. -da 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 -da. The cover looks like this. Beautiful, beautiful. It's got... I'm assuming this is Lena. The book follows Lena who lives life like a paper doll. She is pretty much perfect. She has a loving husband who is an investment baker. She has two teenagers that she was raised with this husband. And from the outside looking in, this seems to be the perfect life. But what people don't know is that David, Lena's husband, is very manipulating and controlling and abusive. Lena develops an unexpected friendship with another man as well as reconnecting with her ex-best friend and it kind of leads her to realize that she needs out of this relationship. But as David starts to realize that he's losing control of Lena, he starts to become more controlling. So Lena must do everything in her power to not only protect herself, but her two teenagers as well. And it's like the story of her rediscovering who she is and the happiness she deserves. The book is being released on September 1st, 2021. But yeah, I really like this cover because, you know, it's purple and your girl's a big purple girl. Thank you so much to the publisher for sending it my way and we are going to get into the rest of this box. The first thing in my box is a little uh, paper doll. I used to see these all the time when I was little and I never got one so now I'm very excited that I have one of them but basically you can like take the little clothes, pop them out, and put them on your little doll and then she has different outfits. I was always so jealous of the people who had these so now I have ones of my own. Then we have a sticker that features, you know, Lena, paper doll Lena, and if you look closely, which is probably not going to focus, but she has the paper doll things in her hand and it's like falling from the sky, which is pretty cool that they incorporated it so much into this as well. It says dress up, smile, look pretty, don't tear. And then we also got a button. Is this a button? Is that what there is called? Pin? Button pin? I don't know. Of the book cover which is pretty cool. I have a lot of pins up on my shelf so this is gonna be added to the collection. The next thing I see for some nice self-care is this is either a mask or an eye thing for sleeping, but I'm gonna say that it is a mask. 
because we are in, you know, the day and age of Corona. But yeah, we got a nice little mask. I would put it on, but we're wearing lipstick and we don't want to get it on the other side. And since this is a self-care box, of course they needed to include a bath bomb. I actually don't like bath bombs to like soak my whole body in because they just trip me out. But I will say I do like putting my feet in the bath with a bath bomb in it. I just don't submerge my whole body. This one smells like mint, which is one of my favorite smells, so I am here for it. The next thing will be going straight to my mother because I am not a fan of this smell, so I'm not gonna use it. But it is a cucumber cooling face mask, which obviously, self-care, you need the bath bomb, you need the face mask. But like I said, cucumber is literally my least favorite smell in the entire world. It makes me gag. Like, I can't even be around people eating cucumbers because it just makes... I don't like it. So I will not be using this, but it will be going to my mother. So she will use it. Ugh. I don't even want to touch it. And then we have a sticker. I'm thinking this is a sticker. Ah, okay. It is a sticker that shows you signs of domestic violence or just partner violence in general and like what to watch out for to see if you're in danger, which I think is very good things to know. So this is this is good. Then more self-care, loving the self-care theme. It is a milk chocolate, hot chocolate on a stick. I think what you do is like get a cup of heated milk and then you stir this in in order to make your hot chocolate. That's what I'm guessing is supposed to do. Oh, it's got instructions. Because I feel like you wouldn't put like just hot water and mix this in because that would not taste very good. Yeah, it says hot milk. So I was correct. This is fun. I like this. I'm gonna have like a nice cup of hot chocolate with my book and I'm gonna read it and it's gonna be great. Final product that is in this box is what I have been the most excited about. As soon as I got the email about it, I was like, yes, please. I want that. It is a mini heart shaped waffle maker, which I just think is the cutest freaking thing. And now I can have a hot chocolate with my mini heart waffle and I am so excited. My mom makes waffles from scratch a lot, but they're like huge because we have like a big waffle maker and I get full on them so quickly. So now that we have a mini heart waffle, I can eat and not throw out half of the waffle because it's so big. I can eat the full one and not waste food. So this is good. It's really cute. I'm gonna open it. Oh, look how little it is. That's so cute. Look at it. That's so cute. I'm excited. I'm definitely gonna use this very, very soon. Oh, I love it. That's everything in my box. So I'm excited to have a little self-care day make some waffles and some hot chocolate. Not put on that face mask, but I do have other face masks I can use, so that's exciting. Thank you so much to the publisher for sending me a copy of this book. Paper Dollina comes out September 1st, 2021, so definitely check it out. I personally think it's gonna be a really good book and discuss some very important topics, so definitely check it out on September 1st, 2021, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!